guys welcome back to three bricks higher today i'm going to show you the proper way to siphon fuel now there's two different methods to siphon fuel and the method that you'll want to choose will depend on how full the fuel tank is that you're siphoning from my pappy was a mechanic all his life and my daddy was a mechanic all his life and me well i just paid attention and i promise if you pay attention to this video you'll never get a mouthful of fuel and guys this first method that i'm going to show you it's a lost technique it goes back many years and i've never seen it used outside the family you can only use this technique the fuel tank you're siphoning from is 80% full or greater. Now guys, you cannot get any more simplistic than this. Put your thumb over one end of the hose and lower the other end of the hose all the way to the bottom of the tank. Before you release your thumb from that hose, make sure it's lower than the tank itself. And there you go. It'll self-siphon. Now if you have a smaller car, subcompact, something like that, then you're, you might need to tank this a little more full than 80%. But if you're driving a truck or a larger vehicle then you're, you're solid. So guys, how did that work? Well, when you put your thumb on the end of that hose and lower the other end into the tank, you prevented fuel from entering that hose. As Soon as you release your thumb from it, fuel rushes up through the hose, inertia carries it higher than the level that's in the tank, and once it hits that bin, it starts self-siphoning for you. Come on, what y'all think about that? Keep that one in your back pocket. You might need it one day. But let's say that your tank is less than 80% full. There's still a safe way to siphon fuel from it. Now guys, this is just a simple, you just need another piece of tubing. Now, if you can't fit two pieces of tubing down inside your tank, just use smaller tubing. But literally, you're just going to stick it in there, use a rag to try to make it airtight around the entrance of your fuel tank, and then blow into the tube. And it, it'll do the work for you. Air pressure will push that fuel out into your line, into your container. Well guys, my name's Domin and this is Three Bricks Higher and we try to post videos on this channel about once a month. So subscribe or check back, that's up to you. Till then, we'll catch you next time. Maybe shooting videos again.